Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm here uh, back again with one another mini project specifically for beginners. So this project is again for those guys who are trying to learn Java by doing something. So this is yet another practical for you and you can simply do it by writing around 50 lines of code and that's it. So this project is going to be a GUI uh, where we are going to use Swing library. So uh, first let's see what this project look, looks like and then I will write the code from scratch so that I can give you the point of view, right? So before we do that, if you are new to my channel, if, if you haven't sub subscribed to my channel yet, please do and let's see what this project looks like. So here I have the code uh, which you were seeing uh, <laughs> for about one minute. So if I run this code now, So this is how it, it looks like, right? So it has a pretty good poster here and then we have the label, we have a close button and then we have um, the labels button here to convert and this is not editable like it should. So here um, I want to show you the reference like this is the Google converter uh, and here we have Fahrenheit, here we have Celsius. So let's see if it is working fine. So if I do 32 here, try to convert it. So it's 0, 0.0, right? And if I do 86 here, it's 30, exact 30. So it should print us the same output. Uh, click on convert and yeah, that's it. So it is working fine. If I do this, it's closing. So this is what we have to create and we will do it from scratch. So let's do it now. So what we have to do is first I will delete this. Uh, okay. And now I will create a new Maven project. So why Maven? Because uh, we need one dependency and that dependency is going to help us create a good looking UI interface, right? So that's why we have to create a, uh, a Maven project. <laughs> so we'll do project and here let's do then converter. Hit finish. And here we go. Uh, we have our pom.xml so which dependency do we need uh, we need this flat lf library so this library provides us a good looking interface as you can see here so it's it comes in uh, by default themes and then we have some themes externally that we can import using this library so here if you see this is the default one and this is the dark theme and they look pretty good so that's why we are using them so to add this dependency we just have to copy this and add it here to our pom.xml okay now we have the dependency now we should add a new application window so let's do window here com dot converter uh, did I spell it wrong oh I did okay now let's do temp okay now we have uh, the default implementation and this doesn't look good it has a title bar which doesn't doesn't provide us like a 2021 GUI interface right and it's it, it is not coming even at the center so let's first do that so what I will do is uh, first let me complete the design then I will remove that at the end of this session uh, this video <laughs> uh, okay so what we have to do is first we have to set the layout to absolute layout and then we have to add the panel but First, let's give the frame a decent size, 800 by 400. And even numbers help us. Uh, so the numbers divisible by 100 uh, gives us the functionality like to divide them in half, right? So this can be divisible easily. So what I will do is I will first add not the label, but the panel. So I will divide this frame into two part using panel. So the first panel is going to be 400 by 400 so width has been cut to half as you can see here now I will add another panel and let's do 400 by 400 again 
right so this will look like this cool so now what we will do is we will again change the layout where is it to absolute layout now I need a poster here so poster can only happen or occur when there is a component right so J panel is a container not a component um, right because we need like something like J label so I'll do that here I'll add a J label and what I will do is I'll remove this uh, where, where to go? yeah this right now again the size would be 400 by 400 now I have already um, I have I have this poster already created so this is of 400 by 400 size uh, as you can see here right so that's why <laughs> I was being specific there too so yeah uh, you should have something in the back of your head that this is the frame size and the frame size should be proportional to your fra uh, frame uh, or poster and vice versa right so what I will do is here on the icon I will try to import not try to import I will import this and it should look good if it doesn't look good that's because we have this title bar which we will remove okay so now here again we need something so we have a panel already I don't know if I did this and here what I will do is I will make it black okay so here foreground is black background is this so let's do black and, and yeah foreground we don't need to bother so so yeah this looks good now what we need is we need a heading that what this tool is then we need uh, two text field one is to uh, give the input and another is to provide the output and then we need a button right so let's add them so first let me add here okay I guess we have to make this white uh, where did it go I cannot see <laughs> that's really stupid of me so let's do one thing uh, first let's keep it white so that <laughs> yeah so what I will do is um, I'll make this bold and the font size should be 30 and it should be at center and let's do temperature converter and let's increase the size a bit right so this looks good now what we will do is uh, I sh think I will remove the title bar now because it doesn't look good so set undecorated to true by default it is false and then I'll do set location relative to to null so that it will come at the center right so now the poster is fitting perfectly now uh, one more thing that I forgot to tell is that we need a button here this button is going to close this tool right so uh, here we don't need a text rather we need an icon but before that uh, we have to change the bound to 50 by 50 because that's my icon size right so 50 by 50 and let's do this here remove the borders uh, where are they yeah, there you go so no border okay come out and then click on this icon thingy and absolute path browse close window okay so so we have this button now and let's do system dot exit good to go now what we need is we need text fields so let's do that ok 
okay did i make it bigger yes i did okay so it doesn't needs to be bigger than this and let's create another one okay now we need a button so there you go standard okay so this looks fine now <laughs> and let's do convert here change the font again to 30 bold i don't think it needs to be bold yeah plain is fine and here what we have to do is this one needs to be editable to center change the font again to 30 okay this one doesn't needs does not needs to be editable so now we need to add the labels to signify that okay this um, this text field is for this uh, like Fahrenheit or Celsius we have to signify that right so make it to center change the label to I was typing somewhere else okay Fahrenheit and let's change the font and this should be 20 or maybe less oh, yep this looks fine let's copy this paste it here and let's make this one Celsius good to go okay so now what we need is uh, we need the conversion right so let's make this bigger also a bit right so if you see this uh, Google conversion here you can see the formula right so what we have to do is we have to subtract the Fahrenheit by 32 and then we have to multiply it by 5 and then divide it by 9 so that's what that is what we will do double click on this convert and let's gather few information like first we have to uh, where it go first we have to get this Fahrenheit value and again this could be in Fahrenheit so we have to be thorough about that so we will do double and let's do F for Fahrenheit and the value is in string right now so we have to parse it so we will do double dot value of and here we will do text field dot get text right now we have the Fahrenheit value now we have to do the actual conversion so first we have to subtract it by 32 right and then what we need to do is we need to multiply it by 5 I'm good there and then divide by 9 so this operation is currently in integer so it will not give us decimal or you can say precise value so we have to parse it and like this double C for Celsius right so we have the value now now we have to convert this uh, double value to string so text field one dot set text here we will do string dot value of and here we will do C right so now let's see if it is working so here if I do um, what, what was the default value 86 let's do 86 okay okay so it is 30.0 uh, we forgot to do one thing uh, we didn't change the font here to 30 and this should be center now let's add the theme that we were talking about in the start of this video so I have that theme here so I'll just import it resources folder 
and as this is an external theme we have to import it using this IntelliJ theme dot class uh, dot class class and then we need to use setup method and then we will do uh, what's the name temp converter dot class dot get resource as stream here we just have to type the name of the file so the name is github theme dot json that's it now we need to do few customization right so let's come down here and go down to customizing page so wha what customization we have to do is this is the text field simple plain old rectangular shaped and this is the good one <laughs> the round one so we'll copy this for button and for our text component right but uh, there are two buttons here two type of buttons you can say one is this convert on which i want the round thing but here i don't want that so i have to be really specific ab about uh, my button but for now what we can do is we can uh, copy this text co component thing right here and then we will do for the button so here we can directly do this and import this now let's come down to our convert button which is here now let's do that so here there is one method called put client property if you can see here right and here we have to provide the button type which is going to be around so that's it and if we see this it is going to look good yep so i don't know if you can see the difference or if it is uh, good enough for you but uh, i think this looks good so if i do 86 and this is how and i can close it right so um so yeah that is it for this video i forgot to do the black thing black background but this one also looks fine according to me right so this looks good too so this is it for this video i hope i was able to teach you something new and if i was do forget do not forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any doubt put that in the comment section that is free and available so am i i'm not free <laughs> though and um, and yeah i hope i will meet you in the next video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye